Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Mueller Guide, here today to share with you a great exercise referred to as a heel drop exercise. And this exercise is um, very helpful for stimulating bone uh, in the lower body. Now, I demonstrate all my exercises without shoes so that you could see the position of my feet. Um, I, saw, I also have never had issues with my feet. I've never suffered from plantar fasciitis. I stretch my calf muscles on a regular basis. And um, when I'm demonstrating, I have two layers of yoga mat underneath me. Not Some of you are young that are looking at this and you'll do fine doing it just the way I'm doing it. Um, some of you who have you know tight calf muscles, who have suffered from plantar fasciitis, um, by all means, you know, if you wear orthotics when you walk and have been recommended to, you know, always have shoes on your feet, then I'm not in a position to, to see your feet or know what your situation is. So um, when you're doing this exercise, do it in the way that is going to keep you safe and your feet happy, because that's really important. Now, the only tool you need for this other than your footwear, um, or if you're doing it barefoot, what you have underneath your placed on the ground underneath your feet is a strong support, support surface. So um, heel drops are often done while you're doing dishes, for instance. So just your countertop sitting at the, you know, having your hands on the edge of the sink works great. The uh, exercise is as it sounds. It's the dropping of your heels. So you rise up and then that dropping. Now, many people have the ability to hyperextend their knees. I am one of them. So it's so very critical that you do not do this with hyperextended knees because, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'll try one because I'm so used to not hyperextending my knees anymore. But oof. The, all that force was just so strong because there was no shock absorption from my muscles at all. Um, when you, I think I protectively soften my knees. I've never had knee pain, but when you hyperextend, you're just loading and putting too much stress on the ligaments of the knees. So always a soft bend, always engaging your, the rest of your posture so that you have a neutral pelvic position and your head is over your shoulders or as best as it can be. Because that loading that you're doing is I'm assuming to help you to be the best you can be, to have stronger bones. And when we load with our head in front of our shoulders, well, now we're loading everything in an unsafe position. So optimizing your posture and alignment so that as you come down, everything is loading in a safe way so that the weight of my head, the 11 or 12 pounds of my head, that weight, as it comes down with the gravitational pull, is sitting over my spine. It's not sitting in front of my spine. So you want to feel that gentle vibration go up through your body. Um, for those of you who have had vertebral compression fractures, I don't recommend doing heel drops. Um, but you know, if you know you are working with a physiotherapist in your area or you ask your doctor and they're comfortable with it, then by all means, but not knowing your individual situation, I don't feel comfortable suggesting it as an exercise um, because I can't see what your form is like. If you like today's video and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. If you don't want to miss any future videos, you can hit the notification button. And if you want to find out more about my books and videos, then you can click down in the description box below.